Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 Headlines. This week, the City Council held its first meeting of the year and re-elected Councillor McMenamin as Council President and Councillor McLaughlin as Vice President. Councillors Darcy and Bradley MacArthur introduced a resolution asking the Council to look at what it needs to do to get in compliance with the state's MBTA Communities Law. The Boston Globe reported in December that the Waltham Housing Authority is in danger of losing about $300,000 in state grants due to Waltham's non-compliance. The council voted to send that resolution to the Master Plan Committee. The e-docket for this week's city council meeting included documents from the mayor that answer some of the questions raised in the recent controversy over the plan to clean up the field station site and the effect it'll have on Waltham Fields Community Farms. The documents included a memo in which the mayor clarifies her plans for the site, which include community gardens in addition to a farm with a CSA model. She said she was required to commit to both of those in writing when the city purchased the land. She also confirmed that she would like a recreational maze on the site. The docs included a map which confirms that the site will be split roughly in half, and the half that will be inaccessible to tenants includes much of Waltham Fields Community Farm's current facility. They also said the remediation will include the evaluation and likely demolition of structures on the site, including the greenhouses, and included reminders that state law prohibits elected officials from colluding with possible bidders on the RFP. We'll talk more about that on our debrief show. You may remember the farm was not the only local organization that got bad news recently. Healthy Waltham, the org that provides me food pantries in Waltham, learned that they'll no longer be able to use city property after March of this year. I'm happy to say we'll have Miriam Michelle, the executive director of Healthy Waltham, on our debrief show to help us understand what that means. We'll also have Zoe Rodriguez, a young writer from Waltham who recently won an award from the New York Times. So you'll definitely want to stay tuned for that. This Saturday, workers at the Starbucks in the Waltham Market Basket Plaza will be holding a sip-in. Community members are invited to come by that morning to show support for their efforts to unionize. Monday is MLK Day, so the City Council will be having their committee meetings on Tuesday next week. Wednesday the 18th is our special event on Zoom, Civic Engagement Beyond Voting. Be sure to sign up if you'd like to learn how to get more involved in the Waltham community from our panel of experts, including Councillor Bradley MacArthur. Also Wednesday evening, the State Department of Transportation will be holding a public meeting about the results of a study on land use around Route 128. And there's also a Waltham School Committee meeting that night. So we hope many of you will be at our event, but those things sound important as well. On Thursday evening, the Conservation Commission will be having a public hearing on Zoom about the proposed recreational plans for the Fernald site. That's the first public meeting about those plans in about a year. So if that's an issue, that's important to you, you may want to plan to attend. The next thing we post will be our debrief show, so stay tuned. Thank you very much.